Hello there friends and followers and welcome to this Xplan 11 video. I came across a useful tool called Sim Toolkit Pro and I thought I'd make this video to share its features with you. Please do note that this application is still in early access and being updated on a regular basis. Let us take an overview of what Sim Toolkit Pro has to offer. In this first screen or the dashboard you can see the change log, the help and getting started, there is a user manual and support on Discord as well as the network stats, VATSIM, IVAO, Pilot Edge. It also shows the internal databases in the Sim Toolkit Pro application, the aircraft profiles as well as the NAV IDs. The landing and report system is a particularly useful system. If we click here on the approach system, we can enter an ICO code of any airport. Let's, uh, for example, enter uh, KVUO, which is Pearson Airfield. And as you can see here now, we have two runways to select, runway 08 and runway 26. We're going to select runway 26. And this feature is particularly useful if you are practicing your uh, landings. You can select the ground speed, the altitude, you can also change the weather conditions. Uh, you can use the real world METAR, you can use a preset if you like, and you can also select straight final, vector to final, downwind and base. And once you click actually on vector, you can actually select uh, the final length um, in nautical miles, the intercept length, and whether you want to do a left turn vector or right turn vector. The same thing goes for downwind here. As you can see here, we're going to do, we can do a left turn downwind uh, or right turn downwind uh, and then base uh, and then final and you can select the base length here in nautical miles. And the same thing you can do for base. Uh, very, very useful um, application. Works real well. We're going to take a look at it in a minute. Clicking on reports will give you access to your landing reports. We can take an example here of this particular report here, which is again very, very useful. It gives you the location. Aircraft is 172. The ICAO and runway is Portland International, runway 10 right. Summary touchdown rate is minus 88 uh, foot per minute. Average descent rate is minus 60 and the touchdown speed is 54 knots. It also gives you the approach weather at that specific time and it gives you a replay here uh, of what has happened. You can either do this manually and you, as you can see we have the altitude, the roll, the pitch, V speed, um, everything is there, uh, flaps incremented. It gives you exactly when you have extended your flaps. Uh, you can also click here uh, on play and it will automatically show you uh, what um, you know how things have progressed uh, until landing and we can go down here and we can view the graphs also for our altitude speed and vertical speed very very useful uh, again if you're practicing and you want to go back and see how well you've done the custom weather is a feature I really really like and uh, it gives you very granular control over the kind of weather that you want to fly in to practice your uh, takeoffs or landings. Um, so you can select uh, whatever you like here. Uh, for example, broken, we can say broken here again, and overcast. And as you can see, the changes are immediate to the, uh, to the sim. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Uh, you can select rain, uh, you can select storms, uh, temperature, uh, actually we can do this here, and we now have rain in the sim as you can see, I'm not sure if, uh, let me change the time here, maybe, yeah, you can see the raindrops now, um, so very very useful feature uh, for those of you who want to practice, uh, for example, landing in bad weather, so I really like this feature, I think it's done very well, and by the way, still in early access. Moving on and clicking on airport database will give you the ability to um, obtain lots of information on a selected airport. Uh, for example, here we're going to click on San Francisco. You have a map of San Francisco. Uh, it will give you the um, airport city, the airport country, uh, San Francisco frequencies, all the frequencies available at San Francisco. Again, very useful 
uh, while you're flying, uh, especially if you're flying um, online on a network. Uh, San Francisco current weather, again, very good. It gives you the uh, wind, gives you the METAR, uh, flight rules, visibility, uh, all this good information here. And if we scroll down, you get all the runways with their links, type of runway, width of the runway. Very, very cool feature. Moving on to tools, there's a wind calculator, and this is something I also have a lot of appreciation for. I think it's very smart. And if we select um, an ICO code, for example, uh, Kilo Vector Uniform Oscar, and we say get, um, now we can select which runway. Uh, this is, by the way, Pearson Airfield. And if we select runway 26 and we say get, it will give you exactly the um, headwind and the crosswind relative to uh, the aircraft uh, and, and runway or your heading. So you can either select the runway heading or you can select your current heading and it will tell you exactly the headwind and the crosswind, uh, so the effect on the aircraft. Very, very cool feature. Look at that. As you change the runway uh, or your heading, it will change the crosswind and headwind results relative to the aircraft. The map feature is um, kind of like an electronic flight bag. Uh, if we click here on show me, uh, so that's us right here. And of course you have a ton of features here, um, NDB stations. The layers don't seem to work. Uh, some of them do, not all of them. Uh, but again, this is um, early access. Uh, and you can also load a plan. So if you have your plan uh, copied, you can paste it here and say OK, and it will plot your flight plan here on the map. Explain tools. Um, I'm not sure what the use of this specific tool is, um, but it, it actually acts as your explain um, aircraft folder, and it shows you all the airplanes that you have uh, and the liveries as well. It's kind of nice. I'm not sure what the use um, of it is, but um, it's a nice feature. Uh, for example, here, the 737-700, uh, we have eight liveries, and you can click on each livery and get the information on that specific um, aircraft. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I don't think it really adds too much to the application, uh, but it's a cool feature. The Pattern Pro, uh, and the takeoff performance uh, are still features that are locked. Uh, it looks like this is going to be uh, probably a paid feature. Um, so not all of it will be free. At the moment, everything is free here, um, but it looks like those two features will be paid. Um, it says uh, plugins are licensed add-ons. Yeah, so I believe those two features will be, um, will be paid. Uh, another nice feature that you have is you can enter uh, the ICO code here and get the METAR. Uh, this is quick access to the METAR. If you're flying, for example, let's say, um, uh, let's get uh, Kilo Papa Delta X-Ray and get METAR. Again, we get the METAR information here. Again, very useful feature. The connection monitor is passively recording your data uh, and, but you can also see all your dials here while you're flying and it will give you your speed, V-speed, altitude, pitch, roll, and G-force. Uh, it will also tell you whether the aircraft is airborne, what aircraft you're flying, the nearest airport, and the nearest runway. Report will automatically be shown after touchdown. So let's try to do that. Uh, we're gonna head over back to the aircraft and take it for a short flight. We are in the default Cessna 172. We are at runway 08 at Pearson Airfield, and we're gonna take off and make an immediate right turn and land uh, over at Portland International uh, to take a look at the landing report. And then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use that approach system to place the aircraft on final and land. So without further ado, let's release the parking brake and let's go. Right. It looks like there is some wind there. All right, full throttle. And we're going to rotate at about 60 knots. There we go, rotate. All 
right, we're gonna keep our speed low because the airport is to our right, right there. A bit of turbulence there. Yep, that's the runway. And the runway is ahead of us now. All right, extend flaps. Very turbulent weather here at uh, Portland. And we're gonna bring it now nice and easy. Okay, and approach flaps. Definitely some crosswind there. Speed to idle. And touchdown. Okay. So we can now uh, bring the aircraft to a complete stop here on the runway. And we're going to set the parking brake. And let's bring up uh, Sim Toolkit Pro. It says unable to load report file for some reason. Uh, it couldn't catch it, but anyway, uh, so this is the touchdown rate, um, average descent rate, uh, touchdown speed. Uh, we can start here now the log, and as you can see, this is where we took off, and this is where we started landing the aircraft. Uh, flaps incremented uh, 22 seconds, and then incremented again about 50 seconds later uh, for approach flaps. And then we have gear touchdown uh, after 209 seconds uh, at minus 138 uh, foot per minute. And the nose wheel down came at about two seconds later. Not a bad landing. Uh, again, you get the idea. Again, guys, this is in early access. So uh, don't be harsh on the developer, please. Uh, okay, let's now take a look at the um, approach system. And we're going to enter uh, Portland, which is Kilo Papa Delta X-Ray. And we're going to do runway 10 right. And uh, we're just going to do a three nautical mile final, but we're going to put the altitude at 400 feet. And don't update. Yeah, we'll just leave it as it is, uh, three nautical mile. And as you can see now, the aircraft is at the exact location it's paused so we're gonna un ooh, we're gonna unpause the sim <laughs> uh, let me just trim it real quick here yeah there we go very turbulent weather as we come into land this is probably not the right runway for landing uh, as we can see from the uh, wind sock the uh, wind direction is uh, the opposite that aircraft is coming on the right runway to land Right, crosswind there. We're a bit slow. And speed to idle. All right, there we go. Okay, maybe we can uh, grab the report now. Let's see if we can. All right. Let's set the parking brake. Let's see if we can uh, grab the report. Um, actually, we did get a nice report this time around. Um, and this is minus 80 foot per minute. Um, average ascent rate is 104, 104 uh, foot per minute. And touchdown speed 54 knots. Uh, this is the approach weather. And this is how things were as we came into land. Again, very, very useful. 
Um, I really like um, this application. I think it's a very useful application specifically, uh, very useful for those of you who are uh, starting out and want to uh, practice their takeoffs and landings. Well, folks, this pretty much brings us to the conclusion of our video today. I hope that this was a useful and insightful video. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.